Hi there, I'm Coach Amanda, and this is my best pal Logan. Welcome to Free Tip Tuesday again. Welcome to Food Tip Tuesday, and it is back to school season. <laughs> Logan, what grade are you going into? Uh, no grade. Kindergarten. Yeah, yeah you're going into kindergarten. Logan's starting school this year, and as like many of you parents, I will be sending him off with a bagged lunch. Now, even if you're educating your children at home during this uh, pandemic that we're in, you still you still got to feed your kids, right? Um, Logan, what was your very favorite thing in your lunch box over the summer at summer camp? Your very favorite thing? So, so, so really good. Uh, oh, now I know. What? This is really easy. The field profile pouch chocolate, dark chocolate strawberry flavored. Wow. That's my healthy kid there answering an honest question. We did not prep that. Very good. Well, I'm going to share with you what my favorite was. It was a Little Debbie snack called a Star Crunch. He's probably never had one before, but... I had tasted. We, we made them at home here. We made our version of them a little bit healthier. So instead of puffed rice, we used puffed quinoa. And instead of regular caramel, we used dates to make the caramel, which is an actual fruit. And last but not least, we used, of course, dark chocolate. We try to use 70% or above. It tastes so good. <laughs> so how do we make these at home? Step one, you have to prepare your baking sheet with your parchment paper and then set that off to the side. Uh, we already did that. Confused. We did that already. Step two, since dates are very tough on your blender, you want to put them in hot water and soak them for about five minutes. Cut them in half so the whole surface of the dates gets nice and soaked and softens up for you. Yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, step three, you want to add those dates after they're soft into your blender with the salt, coconut milk, or almond milk. We used almond milk, but do keep in mind if you're sending this to school with your kiddos, you probably want to use coconut milk because then it's a nut-free snack, right? He's dancing. <laughs> Uh, so you also want to add in your maple syrup and your vanilla extract. And believe it or not, when you blend that up in the blender, it actually looks like caramel. And we ate some of that, didn't we? Shh. It tasted really good. It tasted really good. It tasted great with caramel. Now, after you've done all that, you want to have your chocolate chips go into the microwave for about 30 second intervals so that they soften up, stirring, stirring them each time. Um, after that's almost completely melted, you want to add your two teaspoons of coconut oil, stir it up, and you helped me with that, and then leave that cool for about two minutes. Meanwhile, you can pour your puffed quinoa into a big bowl, and you can begin stirring your caramel into the puffed quinoa. Then you can add your chocolate into the bowl and stir that up really, really good so every little piece of puffed quinoa is coated. Last but not least, you want to make them into sort of patties on your parchment paper, flattening them down with another piece of parchment paper so your hands don't get too sticky. And there you have it, a star crunch. Now I'm gonna give you two tips about a star crunch today. If you want it traditionally crunchy like we had as kids, like my generation had as kids, you might wanna cook quinoa and then toast it in the oven until it gets nice and crunchy. If you don't care about the crunch, but you're looking for the flavor of a star crunch, then you can use the puffed quinoa, which does not stay crunchy in your snack. And then that's it. You wanna take a bite? Yes. Okay. It's gonna be really dirty though. Yeah. I was going to ask, what do you think? But I think I know the answer to that. Yummy. 
Yummy. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again next week on Food Tip Tuesday. I'm really good. <laughs> good. You gonna say goodbye? Bye. Bye. That's my trick with your hands. Hey guys, just one last tip here. Once you've made those cool little discs into star crunches, put them in the refrigerator for about two hours. You can eat them right away, but they're best when they're set up. And then you can store them in the refrigerator or even the freezer if you'd like. Bye again. <laughs> my dirty hands.